So when you were a little kid, there was a period where you didn't really know the difference between paper and, let's say, I don't know, a wall. You only began to understand when your parents yelled very loudly at you for doing artwork in the living room. At the time, you wish you had the argument that someday there would be a company that would develop an algorithm that would become a printer just for walls. Then you'd have to explain what an algorithm is, and you didn't have all day, so you'd say that it was a new technical type of magic. So your parents would think that you scribbling on their walls was magic. And maybe, just maybe, they'd believe you. Oh, parents. Indeed, magic is what's being created when users deploy this little guy. Dubbed as the world's first write and erase robot, Scribbit can turn your wall into a canvas for art, drawings, nearly anything you'd like to print on it. The idea came from Carlo Rotti, a designer, MIT professor, and now inventor. Carlo spoke to me from Turin, Italy. Carlo, thank you for joining me on Innovation Nation. Hi, Mo. Thanks for having me. How did you come up with the idea for your wall writing robot? The idea came to us when we were working on a design project at the World Expo 2015 in Milan. And there we actually built a giant robot right here on the side of the building. And so from that, we actually built a smaller version. A smaller version we were keeping here in the office. You know, everybody stopping by would come and see it and play with it. So at one point we said, what about turning it into products? Using it is quite simple. Open the app, pick your drawing or upload your own, then send it. The round shaped core only needs two nails and a plug. Once suspended on two little cables, the robot can position itself at any point, thanks to its patented technology. From there, just let it do its thing. When you're tired of it, you can actually erase it. It's a thermosensitive paint, it's like a marker with a thermosensitive paint, so it heats it a little bit and the paint will disappear. What types of things can I draw on my wall? You can think about just people who want to put it in their homes. Take a picture, do a drawing, but also corporations trying to use it as a tool to enhance a lot of the things that today are done on whiteboards. And also quite a lot of small businesses. Think about the restaurant, and you can actually write a menu of the day. Thank you for joining us, Carlo. Thank you, Mo.